In this video, I'm gonna show you how I recreated the Star Wars Rogue One poster. This project was inspired by Benny Productions channel and you should check him out by the way he makes some really good content about poster remakes and photoshop compositing. So as a Star Wars fan myself I decided to recreate the poster from the Rogue One movie. And I have to say it came out pretty close to the original poster despite the fact that these are the only images I could find on the internet and they are not the highest quality. So that being said I hope you enjoy the video and let's break down this composite. So I started with a new document with a poster format and I dropped in my first image which is the sky. Then I added a second sky image, changed the blending mode to screen to hide the dark areas, added a levels adjustment layer and then I hided the edges with the layer mask to blend it in nicely. Next I filled the gap by painting with a soft brush in the back, then I painted more clouds with my custom fog brush. I have a tutorial on how to create this brush and I will leave a link to the video in the description below. And that's pretty much it for this guy. Now it's time to add the Death Star. And because the light source from the original poster is coming mostly from the top left, I needed that shadow to be on the bottom right. So what I had to do is copy the circle to the right and then I removed the original with the clone stamp tool and blend it in with curves and levels adjustment layers and also painted some shadows to the copied layer. Then to blend it in with the sky, I painted some rim light at the top with the clipped exposure adjustment layer and also painted some fog on top. And with that done, it's time to add our main characters. These are the only images that I could find on the internet that works for this composite and unfortunately they are not the highest quality so I had to reduce the resolution. So what I did next is I masked the bottom part with the layer mask, removed the unwanted parts and fixed some of the images with the clone stamp tool. After that I started editing the clouds in the front and I masked the sky with blend if and removed the top part with the layer mask. Did the same thing for the right image and I added a levels adjustment layer on top to darken them. Now to blend the main characters and the clouds in the front with the background I started painting fog in the background and I did that in multiple layers to create volume. So at this point I decided to start doing some color correction and I started with the background. I added the levels and color balance adjustment layers for the sky and also for the front clouds. Now for the characters I added a global color balance adjustment layers to change the tone then I added even more color balance adjustment layers clipped to each character layer to match the color accordingly as each one required a different value. What I needed to do after that is enhance the contrast and I did that with an exposure and curves adjustment layers and painted the shadows and the highlights with a layer mask. Then painted even more shadows in between the characters with an exposure adjustment layer. I needed the characters to blend even more so I painted more fog on top of them and painted some light at the edges with a soft brush set to screen blending mode. And now comes the last part which is painting the rim light. But before that I needed to fix the hair on some of the characters so I painted it manually with the custom hair brush. Then I painted some rim light and I did that with an exposure adjustment layer. Ok now is the best time to add the ships, so I dropped some TIE and X-Wing fighters. And to blend them with the image I fixed the color with the color brands adjustment layer, then a levels adjustment layer, added motion blur and some rim light with an exposure adjustment layer. And I pretty much did the same thing for the rest of them. Now for the laser beams I draw a path with the pen tool, added color overlay, outer glow and a drop shadow layer style then masked the edges with the layer mask and added some blur. And also did the same thing for the other ones. And lastly I finished the composite by enhancing the contrast with the curves adjustment layer, then applied a camera raw filter and added some sharpening after that. And lastly I added some text. And that's pretty much it for this composite. I really enjoyed making this poster 
Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you do enjoy these types of composite breakdown videos and I'll keep posting more. And lastly, I do appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. My channel is all about Photoshop and compositing and you will find some really helpful information to take your Photoshop skills to the next level. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.